Hello, we are going to be showing you on how to access your WordPress platform to edit your website. We've provided you with a URL and a dashboard login to your WordPress dashboard. After you log in, you'll come to the main dashboard. The main area you will be using to edit your website is Pages. If you click on Pages, you're going to see all the pages in your website. Let's go to the home page. We've built the website using a visual composer, which is a drag and drop, what you see is what you get composer. You'll wait for the composer to load, and then you'll see the format in which the home page was built. This shows you how the home page is built. You can edit any of the things within the home page by hovering over an element, clicking the pen tool, and then you're able to edit the block or edit the title. Whenever you're done editing an aspect of this or even drag and dropping an item, you want to hit update to save changes. Probably one of the pages that you'll be changing the most within your website would be your product pages. Let's go to one of those and check it out. After the Visual Composer loads, it's just the same as the home page. So you'll see drag and drop elements in which the home page is built out of. You can change the title by clicking the pen tool saving changes there or closing the box or changing the text here as well. If you want to change an image, you simply click on it and click edit and this will bring up your media library. You can replace an image at any time, upload files from your desktop or select files from your media library which are files that have already been uploaded to the site and click replace. I'll close out the window as we're just showing you the functionality and testing. Always click update to save your changes. Another common area that you might use is your right sidebar and the brochures. If you click that, you'll open it up. These are your links. If we wanted to change a link to a brochure or upload a new brochure, you want to make sure to click off of the link. Click add media and you can upload files from your desktop any new PDFs. For using after they're uploaded, they'll show up in your media library and it'll automatically come over here. So if I click on a PDF, you want to scroll to the bottom and this field here is the actual file. You'll copy this and close out this window. So we just need that URL, that link. Highlight this, click edit, and you can paste in the new URL link for the brochure. You can save changes or close out the window and click update. If you want to replace any of the text within your slider revolution, the main homepage slideshow area, click on that. You'll see your home slider right here. And then it'll load the slides. If you continue to scroll down, you'll see the text on each slide. To edit the text, you double click. You'll get the box that opens with the text. You can make your edits here. And to save any changes within your Revolution slider, you'll go to the upper right hand corner and click Save Slide. This will automatically publish to the live site. If I wanted to change the image in the slide, click on your media library and you can select a different image here. As soon as you select the image, the new image will go into place and you'll click Save Slide. Hopefully this gets you started on editing your new website. Please let us know if you have any questions or need specific directions on how to edit things within your Visual Composer or your Slider Revolution.